three cheap summer fragrances for men, oh yes. I often get asked about cheap fragrances for men and this video is dedicated to just that. To me, it really doesn't matter if a fragrance is cheap or expensive. It's gotta be good enough for me to want to have it on me. These are three cheap, fresh summer fragrances that I actually think are good, that I wear myself and that also get compliments. In other words, three fresh men's fragrances that will make any man smell good on a warm summer day. The first one is one that I had as part of my dream fragrance rotation for quite some time and the reason for that is simple. It smells nice and it's crazy crazy cheap. And it's also one that I do not hesitate to bring with me on a beach vacation because of its light and fresh kind of scent. Nordica Voyage is to me one of those fresh out of the shower kinds of scents and it's got an aquatic kind of freshness with a fruity floral and green side to it on top of a musky and woody base. This to me is an aquatic with a prominent dose of something green, a bit of apple and a very soft and clean kind of musk with a hint of something woody and it honestly smells really nice. Nordica Voyage is a fresh aquatic that I even got compliments for from people who are usually not into aquatics and it's definitely a freshie that will land you a compliment or two. The performance is about average, so do not expect it to be beast mode. And I do recommend spraying a lot. And I also recommend to carry an atomizer with you if you are out for a longer period of time. But I'm not complaining when 100 ml of this only cost me 20 bucks. Get it if you enjoy fresh fragrances that are more on the aquatic and green side of things with a fruity and floral touch. This is a great cheap summer fragrance for men. The next one is a clone of Creed, Millicim Imperial, and before you even ask, yes, I definitely think you should spend your hard-earned money on this one instead of the original, unless you absolutely love the original. Our Muff Club de Nuit Milestone is an aquatic with a twist, and that twist is a sort of a salty and fruity side. Our Muff Club de Nuit Milestone has an aquatic kind of freshness with sea notes, a bit of citrus and red fruits on top of something woody and musky. So you get this aquatic salty kind of fruitiness with a musky and woody side. Some people describe the scent as a salty watermelon and I get a bit of that. This smells great, it really does and it smells quite unique if you compare it to most other sort of a fresher men's fragrances out there. Now this is sort of on the upper tier of cheap fragrances depending on how you view things of course but I often see this go for around 30 bucks which I think is a fantastic price for what you get. The scent itself is great great. It has pretty good performance and if you care about compliments you'll get them with this one for sure. The last one is a men's fragrance I feel is very underrated and it's a gem from Dunhill. Dunhill Century Blue is an incredibly smooth, fresh, spicy and bright scent with something slightly fizzy about it. The opening is so nice but the dry down is even better when you get a bit of that smooth and bright freshness on top of this ambery and woody base with a hint of a slightly powdery iris. The reason why I like Dunhill Century Blue so much is simply because that it's a crazy smooth, fresh and mass appealing scent that almost everyone enjoys. It's a super classy and elegant kind of scent that will make any man smell amazing to most people. It almost always gets me a nice compliment when I put it on and go out. I still can't understand how I only paid 20 bucks for 75 mil and I will definitely buy a 135 mil soon just in case they decide to discontinue it. So comparing these three, I would say that the most unique one is definitely Milestone. And while it does pull in the compliments, it's also the one that in some cases can be a bit decisive simply because some guys do not enjoy its sort of a salty, fruity, aquatic kind of scent. Women love it though. The safest, classiest and most elegant scent of them all is without a single doubt Dunhill Century Blue. And I think it's the one that is pretty much impossible to go wrong with. I like it, most people love it and yeah, it works anywhere, anytime. Nordica Voyage is the one that is the cheapest and it smells great for its low price. But out of these three, if I compare it quality and scent wise, it comes in last. But it's still good and you get a lot for your money here. Please like this video, thank you, I really do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that notification bell and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.